so it's a good Saturday nice weather outside and we are working on the GMC Sprint uh, just got to drain the oil out and uh, had found a couple oil filters I had because somehow we ended up with a Fram oil filter and I don't like Fram and I wasn't going to put that junk on there so I found the AC Delco oil filter up under there I mean well I had it in the uh, cabinet we stuck it on there kind of an old school AC Delco filters brand new it's dusty oil was black so what I'm doing now I'm gonna have to cut these fuel lines off Actually, we got a new fuel pump for it. Uh, the previous guy that had it, that actually got it from the original place, he cut this hose so the fuel pump won't be pumping gas out of the fuel line up on the carburetor. And uh, he cut it where it comes out of the frame here. So I'm going to have to take the grinder and that hose is hard as a rock. You can see how hard this is. <laughs> I had to take the grinder and cut that clamp and get that hose off there and I bought a chemical transfer pump I'm going to hook to this line which this line goes straight to the tank and I'm going to pump it through and uh, I mean I'm going to hook to it and, and try and pump through from the tank and see what kind of gas comes out of there if anything or bad gas or rust or water or whatever but while I'm on here changing the oil, I'm going to go ahead and probably put the new fuel pump on too. Uh, and uh, like I say, put new fuel lines. And then if that works out, we can hook the line back on the carburetor and put some gas in the tank. And hopefully uh, we can run off the fuel pump on the motor instead of electric fuel pump. But, So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that fuel line out. I guess I'm going to have to cut it off with a with a grinder or something. It is so hard as a rock and it goes through the frame. And then we're going to pop some plugs in it and new plug wires. So anyway. So can I get that fuel line off there and uh, get the new fuel pump in. So I had to take the heat gun and heat that fuel line up to get it off because it was just hard as a rock. Luckily the hose clamp uh, broke. But I got this little transfer pump off of Amazon. It's supposed to be able to transfer fuel and fluid or whatever you want to. It's 12 volt so you can hook it to a car battery so what I'm gonna do it comes with these little hoses on there this is the uh, in and this is the out so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hook it to the fuel line that's coming from the tank and see uh, will it pick up uh, any gas so trying to see Make sure we got all the hoses on there tight. Just hose can kind of screws on there. Run this into a gas can. So hopefully this little thing works. It says it's 12 volt, 60 watt, 0 0.8 maximum pressure. The largest flow is five liters a minute. And the rest is in Japan. So I'm gonna go over to the car or a car truck. <laughs> Hook this up and we'll see what comes out. So we got the pump hooked up to the fuel line. Let's see if we can make something come through these hoses. Uh oh, we got something. Looks like some trash. Whoa. We don't want to suck that in there. That looked like some rust. We need to put a filter on this thing. 
see a little fuel. Hope that don't stop it up because it's coming through the hose. It's almost up to the pump. Let me see if I can get that chunk out of there. That is not good. Hey, it's a big piece. Well, let's just see what happens. Oh man, that's a lot. That is a lot of rust. I think I better take this hose off. I really don't want to stop this little pump up. Let me take it off and blow that out. What smells like bad gas. That's a bad sign. See, can I blow this out? Stick it back on there. Probably have to end up dropping the gas tank. That is rusty. I don't know if that's just in the fuel lines or... Nine times out of ten, I'm going to have to drop the gas tank. I already feel it coming. Starting to suck something up there. It's mainly rust. I don't see any gas. Of course, the truck is in the air, so whatever's in there, oh, it's pulling something. Whatever in there is probably all the way at the back of the tank. Full of air, it's not even it's not even coming up. Whatever's in the fuel line right like there. Probably have to let it down level and then see what we pump out. So it is the little pump is working. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let it down level and then we'll see if we can get anything pulled out of there. I might have to pour a little gas in there and uh, maybe that'll get things flowing. We'll see what comes out of there then. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this thing down on the ground and uh, I might pour a little gas in the tank and we'll see what comes out that hose. So I let the car down and I added some gas in the tank and uh, I put a metal fuel filter on here to keep that stuff from getting in the little pump. So let's see now what we got. 
It might just take it a while. This thing is not as strong. I don't think it's as strong as a uh, let you fill up. Here we come. We got something. We got some rust. Maybe we'll get a flow and start sucking it out of there. It's like old nasty gas. Still kind of rusty though. That little sucker sucks pretty good though. There we go. We might just be able to just put some gas in there. I didn't put probably like two gallons. Might can stick some more in there and just flush it out. I'm pretty sure it's tank's got a little rust in it, but. I just wanted to make sure that uh, if we hook up the original fuel pump, or new original fuel pump, that we can get some kind of gas flow from the tank. I'm just going to let it just pump all that out of there. I'm going to shake the car a little bit and see. picking it up. It's, it's kind of real brownish at first. It didn't clear it up a little bit. I'm not really ready to drop this gas tank. I'm not really ready to get a gas tank. So I want to try to run it off this fuel system first. We'll put a, it's got an inline filter going to the carburetor. Probably put one between the pump and the fuel line. Just pumping it out. The problem is, I mean, the price of gas is so high you don't really just want to keep dumping gas in there and pumping it out and not using it, but... But... I don't know what condition the uh, fuel line is on top of the gas tank or side of it where the semi unit is. I mean, I'm sure it's not cut, it's probably dry rotted. It seems to be keeping up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let this just keep going and uh, till it stops. And uh, I gotta find out why it don't turn over by the key. Something on the emission box is uh, bad or I don't know, but we need to figure out why it won't turn over by the key switch. And uh, and also rip that fuel pump off and put the new one on. And I want this to pump a little bit. The pump works pretty good. I figured once I let it down, it was going to start uh, picking it up. I'm going to have to drop this panel right here and see hopefully nothing to get chewed because this thing had some visitors in it but I know when you got the battery hooked up, it don't do anything. It don't even shut it off. I don't know what this switch right here was for. With the little green light. What is that? 
<laughs> People will hook up anything. But yeah, I'm gonna get a screwdriver. We'll drop this panel. Looks like that's the air conditioning duct, which is full of cotton. And uh, we'll see what's going on with that. Well, I was going on the dash to check the wiring for the uh, ignition switch and ran up on the nest. But there's nothing there. But it is plumb packed uh, with paper. So I've been taking the vacuum. This thing's been sitting for a long, long time. bigger problem. I think that the uh, where the windshield wiper gully is got some pit holes in it up there. I think but I wanted to get all this out of here and make sure we didn't have any visitors come out on you. But I think they'd be gone by now. Somebody jumped out on me, so. <laughs> but yeah. She was plumb full, even that shirt right there was in there. We're still pumping gas out. This whole area up here where the windshield wiper motor sits was completely full with cotton. Now vacuum it out. I did see a pit hole or two. Yeah, right there. So, with all that cotton sitting in there, just sitting there soaking, and it just rotted that out. So she's getting worse for about a minute. Of course, she's going to need floorboards. I got the carpet tore out, and uh, back here. Floor is gone. That floor is soft. I think it can be saved. I don't think it's soft. That floor might be good. This floor up here's got a hole. That floor over there's got a hole. This thing just set up too long on the ground where uh, a lot of moisture got in it. But uh, I did get the temp light and oil pressure light to come on when you turn the key switch but uh, I was looking up under to make sure nothing didn't chew the wires up Don't see nothing else up there and uh, that's when I ran up on this gigantic nest that's exactly how the back of the car looked when we first got it but uh, I'm gonna keep searching try and get this thing to turn over by the key and uh, letting that gas pump out. Oh. 
still pumping. So there's still some hope in this old girl. She just don't need a lot of loving. A little bit more than we uh, anticipated at first. So I wish it would turn over by the key. Got a sneaky suspicion that there's a wire either chewed on the ignition box or the ignition box no good. Let's see, I can turn the switch and we get that. And uh, I think it's got lights. Uh, no light there. I think one of the headlights work. Well, none of the headlights are on now. Had the headlights at first. We had one headlight. Let's see what we got now. Huh? We had a headlight at first. But now we don't. So she's got some electrical gremlins. So, I'm gonna keep digging and searching and uh, see what we can find. All right, so I pulled out the blower motor and lo and behold, more cotton. So whatever was in this damn thing, it, uh, you can see teeth marks. Look at that. It had a big, gigantic pack rat pack rack likes to pack stuff in crevices like that and it was so much cotton in it so I'm gonna get the vacuum vacuum that out That is really, really, really disgusting. Stop up the vacuum. Right? been a couple of hours just vacuuming.
we've been chilling in here for a while. It looks like all the cotton out of the seats or something. That's not good because all that cotton holds moisture. hose down there. Alright, so we got that part cleaned out. Like I said, when I first took this thing off, it was just covered with cotton all the way to the other side down there. You couldn't even see the bottom it was so packed so we got the blower motor out I'm gonna put it back in there and uh, probably gonna wrap it up for the day maybe really I just wanted to make sure there wasn't nothing in it because I was gonna bring it inside the shop but uh, I don't want to bring it in there and have some surprise guest because whatever that was it was a sure, sure big surprise, and I didn't want to meet it. When I clean out the glove box, of course I showed you that. So, I'm going to get some things cleaned up, take a break, and uh, see what else we can do with it. So this is day two with the GMC. And I finally got it to turn over with the key ignition. First problem was this fuse link. I've already replaced it, but this is the old one. And uh, as you see, it got melted or chewed or something, and it got corrosion down in there. And it wouldn't let it make contact. So I just snipped it out of there. We put that one on. That was problem one. Problem two was we unhooked all those wires. Well, this one right here can really come off. This is going to the distributor. But we unhooked all the wires coming from the starter that he had ran up to the battery just to get it going. We can hear it run. And I reconnected the cables back to the starter. The down GMs, they have the small wire which is your solenoid wire and which sends the uh, signal to the solenoid and you have another positive wire which that runs everything basically in the car uh, when it's connected to the main battery cable that goes onto the starter so that main small battery cable wire was cut so we reconnected it to the starter got it all nice and tidy still no start so, what I ended up doing then was uh, going inside the car. Of course, yesterday I took the dash all apart, got all the nest out. And this purple wire right here, 
this is your signal wire this wire runs down to the starter it's purple coming through the firewall which is right here that's the purple wire right there so it comes through the fuse box or the junction box and uh, trying to get focus on it and that's what goes to the starter that purple wire right there so trace it all the way up to inside the car which I put my test light on this purple wire and I had a signal here so when you turn the key to start it would light up the test light that means I had voltage but I wasn't getting it at the starter so right at the bottom of this steering column I think that is a neutral switch I mean this thing's got wires everywhere I don't know if you can see it right over the top of this steering column that white thing right here is a neutral switch and it has that purple wire going into a plug and it and it uh, it separates so you got one end of the purple wire going into the switch and the other end is coming out so I'm thinking that's a neutral switch so got the wiggle in the wires and the connection on that switch was corroded so I unplugged it sprayed it off with some of this uh, moisture displacer for electrical equipment it's kind of like contact cleaner unplugged it and now it turns over with the key so that's what it was just connections fuse link and hooking all the starter wires back up like they supposed to and uh, I know it fires because I sprayed some uh, brake cleaner at it and it cranked for a second and shut back off that's because I don't have any fuel in it anymore I ran it out yesterday so now we can move on to uh, getting the fuel system like I said yesterday we we drained the tank or somewhat drained it seen what was in it still got some stuff in it but I'm gonna pour some more in the gas tank see can I pump it out some more if I can get it kind of clear and we can hook up the original fuel tank. Um, nine times out of ten, the gas hand ain't gonna work, and we might have to just drop the gas tank. I'm not sure, but anyway, at least we got it where it's spin over by the key ain't no more. Hitting the starter trigger button and running all the wires from the distributor and, and all that, so we can get rid of this green wire because he had it just ran all the way over to to the distributor. And uh, then we got plugs to put in. I already changed the oil, and then we're gonna move along to the brakes, get some brakes on it. So, so anyway, I'm going to uh, start tightening up up under the hood with all these wires and stuff, and uh, then we'll move on to the fuel system again. Well, she's running on her own fuel tank. I end up. Uh, pumping as much as I could out of the gas tank and uh, put some fresh gas in it. So now we got the original fuel line hooked up to the car. Put new spark plugs in it. Keep it here turning like a kitten. I don't think none of the gauges work. It's got some aftermarket gauges, but uh, the oil pressure gauge. I don't even think it's hooked up. The only thing hooked up is the temp gauge. I don't even know if it works. Does the radio work? It comes on, but the speaker's been all chewed up. So we have dash lights. We might have a headlight.
Well, one would like. That was pretty good, though. I know one of the tailpipes is broken, huh? Oh, we got one tail light, so this side only works. It's not smoking. Like I said, we changed the oil. It's running off some, some of that bad gas. You can smell it. Most of it is fresh gas. I don't want to get too close to this belt. I got to put a new belt. We got the new power swing hose uh, ordered. Still didn't get a chance to get to the brakes, but. That power steering line right there got a hole in it. A little bit of hole. Look at that front. It's not even on the pool, it's on the back side of it. But to be putting all those years in a barn with all the moisture and, and uh, rodents, I'm surprised it runs this good. I kind of got it out a little high because I wanted it to suck that gas through there. I think the electric trunk has kicked off. I had to have it up just a little bit. the loose some of that stuff. And one headlight. <laughs> one headlight, one, one marker light. Turn signals work. Turn mm, no turn signal. No left anyway. I ain't gonna run, let it run too long because I don't know what the temp is. I think that manual gauge might be working. Mm, no turn signal. Let's see if it's set at. Uh, whoa, our bell exploded. Woo! Let's shut it off. <laughs> that was the belt. Man, somebody's just cutting up today. What is that? Let's see what this is. Charger. Woo! Deuce of hazard. Oh, what? Hellcat. He ain't got no exhaust on there. I knew I heard something cutting up today. Well, anyway, that's going to be it for now on the old GMC Sprint. 
So we get new belts put on. Uh, we get the power steering leak fixed. I mean, that belt is just, I should have just took a knife and just cut it off of there. It is completely toast. Smells like rat poop, rat piss. Hmm, don't you just love that? So anyway, that's gonna be it. Let's see what she cranked back up. I better, I better cut that belt. Oh yeah. She is ready for the races, but that fan clutches through. What is that? Look at the, look at the compressor pulley still put. <laughs> the compressor pulley is still spinning when the belt finally broke. I'm like, what is that noise? I thought it was the fan clutch. Well, we know the uh, compressor pulley ain't locked up. And the compressor's not locked up either. But, yeah, this is, this is my fault. And just sit there and dangle. That fan clutch, it spins kind of fast too. Like it don't have any resistance. It's not running hot. No pressure. I didn't know what that noise was. That's better. The fastest seatbelt light came on. Going to heat off there we go. Well, that's going to be it, folks. We'll turn the light out. Our one hit light, one tail light. That's going to be it on the GMC Sprint tonight, today. So, I'll get busy on doing the brakes. And uh, we'll try and take this thing for a cruise around the neighborhood. We'll put some more fuel treatment in it. And I got to... Uh, do something about the air cleaner it's full of rust but uh but yeah that's gonna be it for the for the day so y'all uh hope y'all enjoyed this little segment of it and uh we will holler at y'all later y'all uh just don't forget to like share subscribe and uh leave those comments like i say i'll be trying to answer all of them Watch out for some shorts and uh, check out the Instagram page. That's RPM Auto 4. Shoot an email, RPM Auto 780. And Facebook, RPM Auto Motor. There'll be some updates on different things. And uh, so, all right, well, that's going to be it tonight. Today, tonight. <laughs> all right.